Mishle chapter 6. If you become guarantor for your friend, have shaken hands in pledge for a stranger, have been snared by the words of your own mouth, have been caught by the words of your mouth, do this at once, my son, and deliver yourself, for you have come into the hand of your friend. Go humble yourself and urge your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hunter's hand, and like a bird from the hand of the trapper. Go to the ant, you lazy one. See her ways and be wise, which having no commander, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer, gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you lie down, O lazy one? When do you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to lie down, and your poverty shall come like a prowler, and your need as an armed man, a man of belly owl, a wicked man, walks with a perverse mouth, winks with his eyes, shuffles his feet, points with his fingers. Perversiveness is in his heart, plotting evil at all times. He sends out strife, therefore his calamity comes suddenly, Instantly he is broken, and there is no healing. These six matters Yah hates, and seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands shedding innocent blood, a heart devising wicked schemes, a feet quick to run to evil, a false witness breathing out lies, and one who causes strife among brothers. My son, watch over your father's command, and do not forsake the Torah of your mother. Bind them on your hearts always. Tie them around your neck. When you are walking about, it leads you. When you lie down, it guards you. And when you have woken up, it talks to you. For the command is a lamp and the Torah a light. And reproofs of discipline, a way of life. To guard you against the evil woman. From the flattering tongue of a strange woman. Do not desire her prettiness in your heart. Neither let her captivate you with her eyelids. For because of a whore, one is brought to a crust of bread, and an adulteress hunts a precious life. Would a man take fire to his bosom, and his garments not be burned? Would a man walk on hot coals, and his feet not be scorched? So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. None who touches her goes unpunished. They do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his appetite when he is starving. Yet, if he is caught, he repays sevenfold. He gives all the wealth of his house. He who commits adultery with the woman lacks heart. He who does it destroys his own life. He finds smiting and shame, and his reproach is not wiped away. For jealousy enrages a man, and he does not spare in the day of vengeance. He does not regard any ransom, nor accept your bribe, however great.